French European candidates have until midnight on Friday to sway voters ahead of elections this weekend. Latest polls show that Marine Le Pen's Rassemblement National is in the lead with an expected 25% of the vote. And President Emmanuel Macron's République en Marche party is a couple of points behind. To beat the far right, President Macron wants to mobilise younger voters. He'll be taking part in a debate on YouTube Friday afternoon and on Thursday at a meeting of his newly formed Environmental Defence Council, he highlighted his green credentials. The environment is a key election concern ahead of terrorism and immigration, especially for the young. When it comes to the environment, it's no longer time for words. We've done that. We've discussed what we had to do. Then it was time for us to change the law and that was easy. And for the past two years, we've been making decisions with immediate impact. The opposition dismissed his words as opportunistic. Unlike France's right, left-leaning voters have a host of parties to pick from. This means even though altogether the French left represents over 30% of the vote, separately parties on the left may struggle to secure seats. The main front runners are La France Insoumise, headed by Jean-Luc Mélenchon, with a predicted 8.5% of the vote, and the French Green Party with 8%. The four other parties vying for votes need at least 5% to get a seat. Most are below that threshold. Voter turnout is expected to be only slightly better than 2014. The election results will be announced along with the rest of Europe on Sunday night.